Typically, when tracking defects, tests and requirements as part of the user acceptance testing process, you end up managing multiple spreadsheets between multiple different teams uh, during the process. This quickly becomes unmanageable with different versions and different updates being difficult to track. In contrast, good implementation of a software test management tool within the UAT process can have a dramatic effect on the success of your process. So we're going to take three core concepts here tracking tests, defect logging and requirements management and look at the best ways to utilize your tool to improve the process. Now there's a lot of tools available on the market all with similar feature sets so whilst we're using ALM Complete here we're trying to focus on the principles here rather than the tool itself. So taking the defect tracking process first your customer is not likely to have access to your defect tracking tool and clearly you probably don't want them to see all of the dirty linen that you're dealing with within your tool. So the key concept here is to set up an external facing web page where people involved in the UAT process can log defects. So in this example we can log a defect against a particular project or product and submit that from this web page on submission the defect will then appear within your ALM or test management tool so that your internal team can pick that up assess it and deal with it. The key here though is that the defects are all being managed in one central location doesn't matter where they're being entered from they're all being tracked in that single location and with most decent tools you're also going to get uh, an external um, summary list that your client can log in and see the status of all those defects that have been raised as part of the process. The next part of uh, this is tracking changes to requirements. Typically requirements are going to change during UAT and we'll need to get them reviewed and approved before those changes are implemented. So in this particular example we could store our requirements within our tool and then we can send emails to our client to ask him for approval from that from directly within the tool. Note here that I'm attaching details of the requirement in the email so when I send that update my client's going to get the email with the update asking for his approval he can then see the contents and the changes that have been made to this requirement and reply with acceptance or non-acceptance of this. Note the core point here is, is that we're maintaining traceability and visibility of all these changes and approve approvals. So from this tool we can see that these email chain has been sent and see any returning emails that approve the requirement and we can then update that approval status. The third part of the process then is writing and managing the test cases. Now rightly or wrongly most of the UAT efforts I've been involved with the client has asked the supplier to write the test cases. So in this case creating a good looking test case report and being able to track clients approval of individual test cases is going to be key. So in this example we're going to start creating our test cases within uh, a UAT folder we've set up here and again we can set up a, a review workflow and process and email test cases to our client for approval. Again sending the details of the test case in the email and our client then being able to reply and accept uh, the test cases that we're writing and we then update the status of the test case from within the tool. With all the test case approved we're then looking at uh, running reports so in this example we might actually run a test library detail report by design status so we get a full update and status of all the test cases that we're going to run as part of the UAT process. So you'll notice one common point here we're setting our test management tool up to allow users ex external to our team to enter data but not giving them access to the tool itself which makes sure we consistently manage our data across the process.